What up, motherfuckers? It's the hater. Uh, another video for you guys. It's the beginning of the year, so everyone knows what that means. Wrestle Kingdom, motherfucks. Wrestle Kingdom, also known as Japanese WrestleMania, uh, with of course some differences that are significant, right? Like number one, Wrestle Kingdom will never draw WrestleMania numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure that it'll fill up the Tokyo Dome because it's just an event. It's like, oh, like it's it's every J January 4th and, and now 5th, I guess. But January 4th traditionally. So I'm sure people in Japan are like, oh, okay, it's January 4th. Like, what the fuck's going on there for the last 30 years, right? And eventually some of them are like, I'll oh, check it out. You know? The ticket's, what, like 30 bucks? I'll go check it out. Like, who cares, right? So that's why they sell out the Tokyo Dome, you know what I'm saying? But wrestling is not as big in Japan, obviously, as it is in the United States. I mean, it's big there, right? Like, they all lose their mind when John Cena comes in, you know? I remember seeing that, by the way. A few years ago, Raw was in Japan, and they did one of those things where they, like, like a fan access type of thing. And there's all these Japanese wrestling fans just losing their minds when like Randy Orton and John Cena come out, you know, to the fan access, just to shake hands with them, right? Same shit with Triple H. Only pretty, pretty much every good wrestler was getting a reaction there from the Japanese uh, crowd. Probably even the shitty ones were, you know? But then you watch like New Japan and all of a sudden we have to pretend that the Japanese are different types of fans. You know what I mean? People always say like, well, Japanese fans are much more respectful when they watch wrestling matches. And that's the impression you would get if you were to watch like a New Japan wrestling show, right? The fans that go like, oh, and then they clap lightly and they're like respectful, right? Maybe though, they're just bored as shit, you know? Could that be it? Could that be the answer? Maybe the fans are just bored as fuck from what they're seeing. Because let's be real, when Raw comes into, into Tokyo, into the Tokyo Dome, motherfucks, right? The fans are chanting along, they're cheering, they're screaming, they're yelling, they're acting like fans, right? When Japanese people watch soccer, they don't clap respectfully, they cheer like fans. You know, Japanese people are not like different types of fans. It's just that New Japan fans are different because New Japan sucks ass, you understand what I'm saying? So there you go, you know, but I was going into it with an open mind. Doesn't sound like it right now, but I was. I was going into it with an open mind, motherfucks, you know? And uh, I was like, all right, let's give it a shot, right? I like Kota Ibushi, I always have. I think he's the one that WWE should have signed. Um, Instead of like Hideo Itami and Nakamura, who like you could just look at them and be like, these guys will never be stars. Uh, Kota Ibushi at least looks like a star, you know what I mean? And he's a better wrestler than both of them, so who the fuck cares? So that was good. It was good to see him finally win in the main event, you know? They gave him the, the obligatory now, like long ass push, you know? Like the all, oh, he almost got it, but not this year, next year he'll get it. Push, which like has happened to like Okada to Kenny Omega, you know, to all these jabrones, to all the faces of the company, to all the face wrestlers, they have to go through this. They have to, like, get almost there, right? Like, win the title in the middle of the year, like in June or something, right? Only to lose it, and then challenge for it at Wrestle Kingdom to lose the first year or two, right? And then they get it. So now, Kota Ibushi has been established as a star. He beat Naito uh, the first night. I didn't watch that because I forgot about it. You know, I'm sure Naito was still kind of chubby, so nothing really impressive there. And uh, then he beat Jay White, who's like one of the most overrated wrestlers of all time, if you ask me, mother fox, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's like, oh, Jay White, this Jay White, that, who the fuck cares about this guy? You know, I remember when, when he, like, debuted in New Japan, one of my friends, who's like a uh, big fan of New Japan, he was like, dude, Jay White debuted, and I was like, who the fuck is Jay White? Like, he was pretending he knew who Jay White was, you know? They're like, the question mark guy is Jay White, and I'm like, dude, nobody knows who Jay White is. You may as well keep him as the question mark guy. You know, like, what has been established here? You know, oh, who's the, mis the mysterious guy attacking everyone? Oh, it's Jay White. And then the question is, oh, I prefer the mysterious guy because they're both equally unknown. You know what I'm saying? So there you have it. That's what I, I got to say about that. You know, but the, the show itself started. Uh, I missed the first few matches just because, like, I kept fast forwarding because it was boring as shit. I mean, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it, man. Like, I like Kelvin Klein. Kevin, Kevin Klein, what's his name? You know what I'm talking about. Kevin Kelly. There we go. Kevin Kelly. But I like Kevin Kelly. You know, I always have. But he's a shit announcer. You know? He's like, he understands wrestling. Like, he gets it. And he has moments. But let's be real. Like, as an announcer, he's just shitty. Like, all the announcers New Japan has for the English broadcast are shitty announcers. Like, they don't do a good job. You know what I mean? Like, they don't emote. Like, the match doesn't feel exciting, right? And when you, don't, when you haven't watched in like two years, you, know, you need some sort of like, you know, guidance, I guess, to tell you, like, what's going on, right? To, like, explain the story or something, right? But it just seems like it was the same Wrestle Kingdom from two years before, right? 
just a bunch of jobbers no one knows or cares about, right? So then eventually, I'm going to talk about the matches that I actually remember, you know what I mean? So there was the, uh, we'll talk about this match probably less, but um, the first match that is noteworthy was the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title match, right? Once again, it's that Hiromu Takanashi guy, right, fighting some other guy. You know, it doesn't matter who the other guy is. Like, you know that Hiromu is, is being presented as, like, the next junior heavyweight or the current junior heavyweight, like, face of the division, right? So, of course, he's going to win. You know, the match was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was one of the stupidest matches I've ever seen in my life. The other guy, right, who is, like, much more muscular, but he's a little shorter, but he's much more muscular and just looks more badass than Hiromu, right? He just grabs Hiromu and starts elbowing him in the face, like, multiple times. Like, I'm talking, like, like when I say multiple times, you know, I'm like, fine. If he elbows someone in the face twice or thrice, then they can get up, maybe, and, like, continue wrestling, right? But this guy must have done it, like, 35, 40 times, right? This was ridiculous. This was preposterous. Like, if I elbowed Hiromu Takahashi in the face 10 times, he would be in the hospital. It would be a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Like, like not even 10 times, maybe 5 times. It would be a wrap. But this other guy who's a muscular championship wrestler can elbow him 40 to 45 times, maybe 50 times, and nothing happens, right? He just gets up, hits his finisher, and wins. So I don't understand. Like, I mean, I get it. All right, fine. You know, at least John Cena, he went, he's famous for doing this. But at least John Cena wasn't getting elbowed to the face 50 times, you know? Like, he might take, like, a spine buster and kick out, you know? He might, like, take a spear and kick out. But he's not getting elbowed in the face 50 times, which would cause brain damage. You know, that's one thing that really irks me. One issue that I have with wrestling and the, just like the lack of knowledge people have about combat, right? Because I don't know if you guys know, but uh, I used to box back in the day, you know what I'm saying? And back in the day, you know, before I boxed, right? I was like, the only thing that I had to go, to go towards was just what I've seen on TV, right? What I've seen in wrestling, what I've seen in UFC, what I've seen in boxing, what I've seen in movies, right? So... You know, you have, that, you have that idea that's kind of incorrect about how combat works, right? Where you think that Rocky Balboa can take, like, 30 hits in the face and live, right? Like, when you were a little kid, I'm talking about. You know, this is how New Japan treats their audience. You know what I mean? They treat their audience in the same exact fashion as, like... You remember those movies where it's, like, three little kids fighting? Like, like Home Alone. They treat us like, it, like, like, like we're, like, fucking Home Alone audiences, you know? So it's like this guy just getting his ass kicked by, like, a person who's tiny, right? After the tiny person gets 50 elbows to the face, and you're thinking to yourself, it's ridiculous. In real life, like, that would never happen, you know? Like, in real life, no one pulls out, like, spine busters or jackhammers in, like, a street fight, right? So it's like, all right, like, we've never seen this happen. Maybe a guy can get out of a, a jackhammer uh, and, and kick out, you know? But we know, you know, we've seen elbows to the face, motherfucks. We now have a lot of experience um, as a culture with elbows to the face thanks to the UFC, motherfucks. You know? So you know what an elbow to the face does, and this guy's taking 50 of them. In the most flagrant way ever. Like, he's not even protecting himself. You know, it's just ridiculous, right? So, eventually, he no-sells all 50 or 60 elbows, right? I skip forward in the match. All of a sudden, he's hitting his shitty finishing move, right? The time bomb, too. It's just, like, one of the worst finishers ever, right? It's, it's basically, like, you know when someone does, like, a victory roll? And the guy just sits down and pins him? It's like that. Except it's kind of like a slam. It's shitty, right? And, he, and like, the other guy can't kick out of one of these shitty finishers. But the guy doing the finisher can just withstand like it's nothing. 50 elbow strikes to the face. Like, no block, no nothing, right? And if that wasn't bad enough, motherfucks, if that wasn't bad enough, the match before this was atrocious, right? It was for the Never Open Weight Championship, right? Which I think in New Japan is like their like, tough guy championship, right? Like, it's all these brawler type guys, like these, you know, these bad motherfuckers that are wrestling for it. Which I think is kind of cool, you know? Because they got some good ones, you know? Minoru Suzuki, I love that guy, you know? But you got also some shitty ones, right? This was an example of two shitty ones. It was two flabby, five foot five jabrones presented as heavyweights. Right? I, don't, I can't even like, get behind this. Oh no, I think one of them was Jeff Cobb, also known as the poor man's rhino. Now, I like Jeff Cobb because he does suplexes. That's pretty cool. Now, the other guy, I believe, was Shingo Takagi or whatever. I think that was the match. Maybe I'm thinking of another match. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares, right? But basically, these two guys are just beating the shit out of each other, you know? And normally, I would like this kind of match. Except for, like, it fell into this flow, right? Which I think is also another problem with New Japan. They fall into these flows where the match is just, like, shitty. You know what I mean? It just becomes shitty and predictable. So they have these little short sequences of, like, two moves. So, like, one guy does a clothesline, the other guy no-sells it. 
then he kicks the guy in the head, the other guy no-sells it, then he elbows the guy, and they both fall to the ground for 35 seconds. You know what I mean? And that's fine. You can do that sequence once or twice here and there. But this match was full of them. Like, this entire match was like, guy gets up, no-sells, 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 then gets knocked down for three minutes. They both get up, same shit. No-sell, 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 and they both get knocked down for, 30, for 35 minutes, you know? Why the fuck would I want to watch that? Like, especially for like a shitty title that no one cares about. You know? But, the, but no atrocity is bigger than having these two guys who at least look like badasses. They're smaller dudes, right? Like Jeff Cobb is a small guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he might be broad and strong and there's no doubt about that. Like he might be able to kick the shit out of like, let's say like, I don't know, like John Morrison, right? But John Morrison looks better than he does. Like he looks more athletic and he looks like a, like a superior person, you know? So like, you, you go from these two pit bull type motherfucks to the junior heavyweights, to then the heavyweight championship match, which is also the intercontinental championship match, but which in reality is just another cruiserweight match. It's another 205 Live jobber match. You know? So these two jobbers have their 45 minute match. Kode Bushi comes out on top. And then afterwards, I have to hear Rocky Romero talk about how this is the best card in the history of New Japan. And I'm like, yo, this is exactly why New Japan will never grow beyond this point because people that are not retarded don't want to see two guys elbowing each other in the face for 45 minutes you know what i mean that's the problem right it also ruins wonderful things like don fry versus what's his name uh, takayama Taka, takayama i think it was right yoshinori takayama or some shit big japanese guy blonde hair versus don fry from america where they just grab each other the back of each other's heads and just start beating the shit out of each other like punching each other in the face relentlessly uh, Don Fry comes out on top, but Takayama, if that's his name, earns a lot of respect for that, you know? He went out like a beast. He grabbed Don Fry, who was a motherfucker, and punched him in the face for like minutes at a time, right? And then Don Fry did the same thing, and it just turned out Don Fry was tougher than him, right? By a little bit, but they were both extremely tough. Or maybe Don Fry hit harder, who the fuck knows, right? The point is, you see that one of the greatest fights in the history of fights, and then you're like, now I'm going to go watch two small guys doing this, with zero respect for the damage. Like, Takayama's face and Don Fry's faces were probably never the same after that night. You know what I mean? And now, you see some red-haired retard, right? Oh, he roamed with a time bomb, right? Just taking 50 of these to the face. And you're like, dude, if Takayama took like 50 of them and basically almost died, Hiromu should be dead. He should, he should be gone for like two years. You know, this should be a good way to write someone out, right? And now for everyone that's thinking, oh, Strong Style's great, I love Strong Style. Remember that Shibata guy? One of my favorites, actually, when he was around, I liked him a lot, you know? For the wrong reasons, I think, but I liked him a lot. This guy, this idiot, right? I mean, I feel horrible for him because he was like, he was pretty cool, I liked him a lot, you know? And I think he was going to get a push. But this guy, he's like a shitty MMA fighter. He has like a super losing record in MMA. He's like, like 2 and like 15 or some crazy amount. So then he goes to wrestling and pretends he's like a tough guy in wrestling. Then he headbutts someone and gives himself like, like a subcranial hematoma, whatever the fuck it was called, you know? He pretty much gives himself a career-ending injury because he has to do it strong style. Like, that guy's retarded, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, I feel bad for him, I empathize, but that guy's a retard. You know, you didn't learn your lesson. You didn't learn your lesson in the MMA leagues of Japan where you're getting your ass beat. You know, that you're not cut out for this kid. You just aren't cut out for it, man. Some people, like, it's like CM Punk, you know? Some people just aren't cut out for combat sports. They're not tough enough. They're not athletic enough, right? This guy was one of them. So instead of, like, just accepting the reality and maybe going and becoming a wrestler and wrestling, like, a light load and, like, kind of having, like, you know, like a light style, this guy goes out there headbutting people, like, legit. First of all, it sucks ass that he ended his own career by a headbutt, right? But think about what he could have done to the other guy. I think it was Okada, right? He could have ended Okada's career. This guy's a fucking lunatic, man. This is insanity, right? Anyone that likes this is retarded. You know, like these people injuring themselves, ending each other's careers, right? Like that Mitsuharu Misawa guy died in the ring because he was like 65 and took like a backdrop and just died. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're not supposed to be doing this shit at 65, right? Or if you are, do it like a 65-year-old would. Like all those Mexican wrestlers in Mexico... Like, they wrestle into their 60s, but they don't die. I mean, at least as far as I know, because they wrestle like they're 60, you know? They understand that they're like a novelty act. Like, like you know, 
they're not going to be the next Rey Mysterio at 65, but they'll be the guy that has like some sort of like appeal, and then he takes a suplex and that's it. They lose to like a suplex finisher, you know? In Japan, the 65-year-old goes out there to get elbowed in the face by like a 32-year-old Shibata type guy, right? Gets backdropped and then he's dead. You know what I'm saying? Like this is insane, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. This is, and more importantly, this is not what wrestling is. This is why New Japan has definitely hit a ceiling. Their growth will be limited. You know what I mean? So that's what I gotta say about that. Like they don't have the capacity to keep going. Like how can it, like they have maximized the, their entire shitty audience of people that like this garbage, right? They need to focus on storylines. They need to focus on things that are good, right? They're not doing that. They're focusing on, on dumb shit. Like two midgets hitting each other in the head 50 times. You know, that's, that's retarded. I don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. People pretending that it's good. Dave Meltzer, all seven stars. What's seven stars about it? It's shit. You know, like if you look at like Dave Meltzer's like, you know, five star and above matches on Wikipedia, you see a bunch of shit there that is garbage. You know, like, I get, like some of it is good, but a lot of it is not even good. Like, definitely not five stars good, but it's not even good. It's not even, like, the best match on the card. You know? Like, Johnny, Johnny Gargano versus Andrade Almas is not a good match. I mean, it's a good match, I guess, but it's not, like, it's, it's not better than fucking Shawn Michaels. Let me tell you, let me tell you that, motherfucker. And that's the thing. People have to understand what makes wrestling good. We have gone too far the other side, where people think that wrestling is good because of, like, how legit it looks. Like, it's a fake sport. Like, we, like, we all know that. You know, I don't care if it looks real or not. I mean, it has to pretend it's real. Like that's part of the part of the bargain, right? You have to like it can't be a guy throwing fireballs and like you doing invisible hand choke slams, right? It has to it has to look real. But it doesn't have to like look super real to the point where people are getting hit. You know, I don't care. Like a botched a botched attack here and there is fine by me. Fine by me, motherfucks. What the fuck? <laughs> but what I do care about is this nonsense. You know. This fucking nonsense. I hate it. New Japan, Wrestle Kingdom, it was shit. All right? I give it three stars out of five. I mean, sorry, out of ten. Three stars out of five is actually pretty good. That's like a D. <laughs> this thing was not a D. This thing was an E minus, motherfuckers. E minus or an F, I guess. All right, cucks. I'll uh, see you guys on another video later, motherfuckers.